Hello everyone, my name is Philip and this is another video for Philip's take on DDS CAD. DDS CAD comes with the latest balancing valves from the biggest manufacturers in the market, including for circulation systems. In this video, I will perform a portable water calculation and present the results. Just a hint before we start, we are continuously creating content for our YouTube channel, so subscribe to our channel hit the bell and don't miss the next one. Enjoy! In DDS CAD, it's quite simple to insert valves in a model. To do so, we come to the valve function and then we move to the pipe. When it's highlighted, we left click. To open the product database, we click on the three dots button. On the left, we see that we have valves sorted by the manufacturer's Dunfuss, Honeywell, Oventrop and Heimeyer. In this case, the valve that I have selected is from Honeywell, from the subcategory circulation valve, thermal control 50-60 degrees. For this demonstration though, I have a complete portable water system, including several balancing valves. Now I will calculate it. To do so, I will come to the building function and select the system and click calculate and calculate again. In the PWHC medium, which is for circulation, I will drag to the right where we have the information important here that we will analyze. First, we have six balancing valves for the circulation system. On the column worst path, it's indicated what is the uh, worst path. And we can also see in a variable pressure uh, column the indication of the higher pressure. On the right, we see the valve pressure balanced to get to the total pressure. And this is important and we can see this balancing on a column valve setting. In DDS CAD, there are two different ways to make the balancing of the valves. In the Aquastrom T+, it is based on the minimum and maximum KV. In the valve setting, in this case, it is indicated with the same valve temperature. For the Owacom before from Honeywell, the valve setting is displayed with a value and it's based on a temperature. When the setting is under or over the limit, DDS CAD displaying information such as KV too small. This information is also available in the issues list that we can open when the dialog is closed. So by clicking on a see more, we see here several points in which the pressure balancing valve exceeds the maximum pressure loss limit. And also it is displaying that the pressure loss is below the minimum KV value. With this information, we know what to do to optimize our model. Else, in the model, we can display the information of the valve setting with the part text function. So we select the valve, we go to the part text, and I have this preset for the valve that includes the valve pressure in hectopascal, the KV, the temperature, and the setting. All this information is also available in reports. To open it, we go to the building and click on the reports button. We select the dimension portable water systems and select the differential pressure. Here we see all the balancing valves with the same information displayed as we saw on the calculation tab. Did you like this video? Do you want to know more about DDS CAD? Put a comment below and we'll get back to you. Cheers!